Welcome back, ladies and gents, to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays Week number 159. We have an awesome set of plays that range from clutch mechanics all the way to game-changing choices that single-handedly win the game, so get hyped as we dive into this episode of our Top 5 Plays. Kickstarting this episode off, we have a short outplay by Phantomless on Zed. At the start, we see the enemy locks land a binding, but she gets scared off by the threat of Zed swapping into his ultimate and backs off. We see the pony moving in with his ult, but Zed outplays and swaps with the shadow straight into his ultimate to negate the damage from Devastating Charge. He then backs off as Cho'Gath comes in with Rupture as the Tower Deathmark and Shurikens finish him off for the kill. Let's check that out one more time as we see some quick moves from Phantomless to swap out of Hecarim's ult and then react quickly enough to ult the damage that would have surely been his demise. Coming in at our number 4 play, we have Poppy Swappy with a huge play on support Alistar. At the start, we notice a few things. Blue team is down on gold, and with their jungler dead and a Teemo on the enemy team, the majority of his team decide to give up Baron. But not this bull. He sees them doing Baron with a ward and decides to move in, but LeBlanc gets the jump on him, landing most of her combo, but he unexpectedly turns around with a beautiful WQ combo and Ignite, turning the tables for the kill. The enemy team springs into action as he waits as long as he can before popping his ultimate to bait massive cooldowns as his team comes running in with Sivir. An amazing 3-man pulverize sets his team up for an easy teamfight and with barely any cooldowns left, the enemy team gets crushed in a matter of seconds. In addition to knowing his champion's limits, what makes this play extraordinary is that he, out of everyone on his team, fearlessly made a play to stop the free Baron while picking up a solo kill. He went through a field that could have been laced with mushrooms, got a kill, ate a ton of cooldowns up, and it pays off as they get Baron now and win the game shortly after. Landing in at our third place spot for this week is Tank 4 Armo on Fizz with an ex peke play when it matters the most. Right off the bat we see him pick off the enemy Heimer after snaking his way through the enemy jungle and with both teams going for each other's nexus the race begins. Vittles tries to stall him because their nexus is completely exposed and we switch over to the enemy team as they work on taking down the inhib. Going back to Fizz now, we see Fiddle start up his ultimate as he E's preemptively to get out of range of fear. He gets in a Lich Bane auto attack before the fear goes off as he gets shredded by Crowstorm but manages to Zanya's right before his Guardian Angel goes off, allowing his E to come back up as he gets in more auto attacks before going down. We go back to his base as we see Blue Team trying their very best to minimize damage and then we go back to Fizz one last time to see another playful slash trickster give him the gap he needs to close out the game right before Red Team takes the win. Man lifing his way into second place, we have Great Brown Ninja with a fantastic support play. In the beginning, we see an amazing catch on Ezreal despite the arcane shift straight into the box to lock them up as Ash lands a nice arrow on Nami to get off tons of damage with the help of the tower. Great Brown Ninja slows down Ezreal with exhaust as he moves over to Ward for his AD carry, allowing Ash to scoop up the easy kill. Now this is where things get fancy as we see him toss a lantern behind him and right as Ash takes the lantern he flashes up closer to Ezreal. Many people don't know this but if someone is in the middle of taking your lantern and you flash it brings them all the way to you meaning that you're both flashing for yourself and your teammate. As we unfreeze it we see Thresh toss out his Q landing the Mad Life hook on Ezreal and with Ash there for follow up thanks to the flash from Great Brown Ninja earlier she scores the double kill in this play. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Evil Onion on Sivir, and I wanted to give a huge shout out to her support in this play for making it happen. As they push the tier 2 tower in bot lane, we see Pantheon come crashing down as they use Sivir's ultimate to run in between the two towers. By now we start to see more enemy players headed their way, so they back off and start clearing the wave as Blitzcrank comes wobbling in, going straight after Sivir. With perfect timing, she spell shields the knockup from his E, and now we look at Thresh to see a godly flay to shut down Pantheon midair. Sivir kites back through the box, and as they all close in on her for the kill, we see Thresh slip out and use his lantern which shields her on her way out, allowing her to survive. Pantheon flashes to try and spear, but she's just out of range, and then we see Thresh turn, risking his life for the flay. Then we see a great dodge on the hook from Blitzcrank as Thresh runs up to the wall, flashing over it straight into Lucian but he mans up and actually turns with this Q, landing it as the fight erupts. As the rest of this plays on, we see Red Team come out victorious and pick up quite a few more kills, resulting in the end at a 2 for 0 exchange despite the play starting out horrendously. Again, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Major Duty on Thresh for making this play happen. Although the graphic in this play read Sivir's name because she submitted the play, they both deserve an equal amount of credit for synergizing so well with each other and using teamwork to turn a grim situation into a benefiting play. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have an extremely thrilling play by Body Taker on Thresh. Although this play could easily be somewhere in the top 5, we found it best to highlight it as a bonus clip because it's pretty drawn out and has a really great ending. So I hope you guys love it and have a great laugh as Body Taker outplays to claim another body. As a final mention, we also realized that this week's episodes have had a lot of Thresh in them. Recently, he's popped up a lot more than usual in our submissions and I wanted to let you guys know that in next week's episodes, we'll try our best to hang on to any Thresh plays we receive until a different week.
Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you back here next week for episode 160 of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.